And all Casey Kane in that nine can do is just try to treat working back and forth between him. I think the low place is where he needs to be as long as they don't get the run on the high side. Looking back from the leader, Casey Kane. Here comes this, here comes 14 on the outside. And Got he's going to get a shot from Montoya. Watch him through three and four on the high that, side here. That's all it took right there, just that extra little boost. That two Chevys hooked up. Here we come. Slingshotted. Tony Stewart right alongside Casey Kane. Looks like the uh, looks like the first race. The man on the inside won the first one. Let's see what happens here. All right, who's going to make the Daytona 500? I believe Stewart. Now Kane's fighting back. It's Kane, Kane I believe. Got it. Kane, Casey Kane. By about another inch. First Daytona win of any kind for Casey Kane. face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead the them to the white flag, flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a set and duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a set and duck right now. But We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the butt shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside trying to... Where did that 34 come from? Trying to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh, and my they God. spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya, and here they come through turn four. Are Gilliland, they... former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Trevor Bain is going to win the Daytona Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, uh, what? That was awesome. That was awesome, Trevor. You are the man, buddy. You are the man. Everybody coming inside, congratulating <laughs> you here. Oh, my God. Saw Leonard Wood down on pit road where he stood in 76 when Pearson won it. And look who's right behind Kenza. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has joined the party. Watch Harvick swing high here, though. Kevin Harvick's been known to break hearts at Daytona. He did it to Mark Martin in 2007 in the Daytona 500. He won this race one year ago. David Reagan, David. a half a lap away from his it, first victory. It's now time, isn't it, for the 20? It's time for the Better 20 go. to do something or... One back there by 10. That's uh -oh. even That's behind him. David Reagan. Reagan. Behind the race leader. David Reagan. No caution yet. David Reagan coming Still back wrecking. to the start they're, finish they're line. They're wrecking again. everywhere now. They're wrecking again. Reagan with sweet redemption gets the victory at Daytona. Two separate wrecks on the last lap. Great job. Thank you a lot, Matt. Oh, 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 oh. Man, these guys are flying by Newman. He was a Mackerel. sitting duck. No kidding. That's the scariest part. Of it being in a wreck like this is sitting in the rain jacket and guys are coming at you 180 plus miles per hour. You can't Wait. beat Daytona. Trevor Bain does it in the Daytona 500, his first career victory. And tonight, I'm sure tears of joy for David Reagan, who's celebrating his now first that, ever win. That was big. I think Laney in a qualifying spot and Nemechek. The water's blowing. It doesn't matter now. You're coming to the white flag. You're not even looking at the water temperature gauge. The engine could be blowing. You don't really care. You're coming to the front, and that's what matters. Look at the difference. About five miles an hour right there going into turn three. Piffle on the bottom. Here comes his teammate, Matt Kenseth, with uh -oh. help from Jimmy uh -oh. Johnson. He says, hey. Piffle slides up, covers the spot, and they go to the inside against him. What a move by Matt Kenseth. Oh, no, what a bad by, by Greg Biffle. He should have never done that. He should have held that bottle. Uh-oh, the little tea kettle is Jimmy Johnson's. Yes, it is. And, and you know what? They may still try to form something there going down the back straightaway, getting through three and four. Oh, no, it's going to be 48 and 78 now. That's what I figured they were going to do. Biffle made a bold move. Kenseth made a bolder one. Whoops. Regan Smith to the bottom. Contact. Whoops. Contact Whoops. again. And Kurt Busch a lap down on the outside. But Elliott Sadler.
Adler is on the lead lap that's pushing Kurt Busch up there. Something happens at 33, though. He gets a run, and he has to back off. Like, the car just gets loose or something. He can't stay in it. Matt Kenseth trying to block three lanes at once. Regan Smith down to the bottom. Kenseth wins it for Jack Roush. Regan Smith is second. Jimmy Johnson third. Elliot Sadler. Greg Biffle led all those laps to wind up fifth. Want to see it again? I do, and, and I really feel like that what, what Biffle, I, I mean, he's kind of, he was in a, a, a bad spot, okay? But I'm thinking if he hadn't have made that move up right here. He's coming off of four. He knows that Kenseth in the 17 is coming. Here he decides to block, but the problem is when you make that cross like that, you lose your momentum. Those guys drove right to the bottom. He's got Jimmy Johnson pushing him, and Biffle is, he's out of here. And <laughs> Jimmy Johnson is about blowing up. And then on the back stretch, here's Matt trying to block three lanes at once. Smith down to the inside. Whoa, big contact with Jimmy Johnson there. And that was huge, I think, for Matt Kenseth because right there, Regan Smith was getting a good push by Boyer. So Smith had to regroup, had no help. And Kenseth got just enough of a lead. I agree, Larry, the two Chevrolets getting the other in the back stretch pretty much handed that win to Ford today. Yeah, you can't make contact like that on that. You just lose so much speed. You know, we talked about maybe teammates helping each other. Don't think Greg Biffle and Matt Kenson were part of that conversation. <laughs> but the cat in the hat, he's probably happy right now. Jack Rouse. He's a team player like Kansas has been. He'll sit right there. They've got a lap and a half to find out. Now, when they come off the turn four and Dale Jr. still pushing him, could be a whole different story. I'd say things might pick up. They're looking for the white flag this time. Once we get into this lap, if anything should happen down in turn one or two or three and four, it's over. Three car breakaway. Junior tucked up tight under the bumper of Biffle. Kenseth leads to turn one, final lap. Eddie Hamlin in the 11th there with no one to push him. Actually, he might hit, actually be hurting those two cars in front of him if he gets back too far. But here we go. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen pretty quick. We've seen where the timing of where you do it is so critical. And, and those two cars, the 16 and the 88, should be able to get by, but Kenseth if Biffle elects to take the chance. Ford, Ford, Chevrolet off the final corner. Matt Kenseth trying to win it for the second time. Here comes Junior to the outside. Side by side with Kenseth. He runs out of time. Matt Kenseth wins the Daytona 500. NASCAR will check the video 
to see who was out in front at the moment of caution. They have just called confirmation that Matt Kenseth is the winner of this race. And it's going to take a bit to sort out the actual finish of this one as Stewart climbs from his car. And that's great to see. Here they come to the white flag. One lap to go. And it's a race from here on, no matter what happens. Johnson looked high. Kenseth to drag with Edwards. To Johnson to the bottom. Alvaro to the top. Man, Matt got shuffled out again. Jimmy Johnson with Carl Edwards. But Kenseth up the middle, coming back. Help from David Reagan. Up to the bumper of Carl Edwards. Reagan in the middle. His teammate Gilliland is the pusher. They're right on the bumper of Edwards. Is there anywhere to go? Reagan to the bottom. Gilliland with him. David Reagan, July winner at Daytona a couple of years ago. Gilliland with him. Edwards up top. Michael Waltrip to help. And here they come off turn four. Push, boys, push. Push hard. Edwards high. Reagan comes up. Carl on his block. Gilliland has got it. He's got it. Front row. Reagan is in the victory lane at Talladega. Reagan first. Gilliland second. An unbelievable run there. Not a first-time winner, but a first-time Talladega winner. Look at those teammates. No, but this team, this team. Bob Jenkins, the car owner, yeah. is. Uh, they need to watch this race today. Goodness gracious, I can't believe we. That's a great run. Second-generation racer from Georgia. His dad, Ken Reagan, a longtime independent driver on the Sprint Cup circuit and one of the nicest young men you'll ever meet in your life. Michael McDowell inside the top 10, right in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. here late in the race. Remember he had that problem when he came down pit road, got sideways in his box, but he too hanging tough. Looks like there's some smoke coming off of Ambrose's car. Left rear maybe. Forty years ago this weekend, the King Richard Petty won for the final time in his career, his 200th career victory right here at Daytona in that 43 car. And today, Eric Almarola behind the wheel driving for the King in his home state. He's a native of Tampa, Florida, sporting the Air Force colors on this 4th of July weekend. And Eric was actually born at an Air Force base here in the Sunshine State. What a special day it would be for him to get the checkers for the first time in his cup career. Casey Mears not going away, riding in the third spot. And that Geico Chevy and Brian Vickers, who got his last win one year ago next weekend at New Hampshire, trying to steal some thunder here today at Daytona. Right now, Joey Logano in the 14th position. You see him in the back portion of this draft, but he's being black flagged. Apparently some debris coming off of his car. Michael McDowell doing a nice job today. You heard it there. Caution, seventh time today. This one for rain. To get to victory lane, no. never does when you do it for the first time. Let's join in the celebration to Matt Yoakum. Adam Eric Almirola was 112 days old when the Kings scored his last win right here at Daytona. So much respect and responsibility when you took over that ride. What part of this? I mean, most kids dream of meeting Richard Petty. You've won for him. Uh, man, it's so awesome. The amount of effort that's gone into this race team this year with everybody at Richard Perry Motorsports uh, trying to, to get better and trying to build this race team back to a winning race team the way it deserves to be is... Uh, it's been so cool to watch it grow and to, to bring Trent Owens over and to watch our sponsor, Smithfield Foods, keep investing in our race team and giving us more and more money to go out and the resources that we need to be competitive and uh, to get this U.S. Air Force Ford Fusion in victory lane today. 
30 years uh, to you know to the to the weekend that uh, Richard Petty won his 200th win is uh, really really special. Uh, the good Lord was looking out for us today. We had a really fast car, nonetheless, but um, I'll take them any way we can get them, man. We're going to be in the chase, so this, this race team deserves to be in the chase. Uh, I told everybody at the beginning of the year, I told our sponsors, everybody that was committing to our race team, I said, I promise you, I will get you to victory lane. And uh, lo and behold, we've done it. You started out scraping the mud off your grandfather's dirt car. You started racing go-karts at AJ. This is your home racetrack. Could you have scripted it any better, your first Sprint Cup win? And in the famous 43. No, I can't. I, I went last week down to uh, Tampa, my hometown, to do a lot of uh, media and stuff uh, promoting the Daytona race here in July. And, I, and I've said time and time again how bad I want to win here. This is my home race uh, two hours away from, from Tampa, Florida. And I grew up sitting in those grandstands right up there watching Daytona 500s and Firecracker 400s and uh, dreamed about what it'd be like to race here. And uh, man, I just took the 43 car to victory lane at Daytona. And you touched on the significance. You're in the chase. You now have a chance for the championship. Yeah, and, and this race team is deservingly so. I mean, we've had good cars. We've had cars where we've run up in the top ten and and just haven't got the finishes. And, and we've we've been right there where we need to be to be competitive. We just haven't got to that next level. And uh, this is so cool to get this team and, and all these guys right here behind me that uh, have been working at this race team for a long time and, and haven't got to go to victory lane with this 43 car. Uh, is so, so special. I wish my wife and kids were here. They contemplated coming and uh, they, they didn't decide to come and uh, I, I wish they were here so bad. Today will be a special memory for Eric Almirola. In fact, the last time a Petty car went to Victory Lane, owned by the Petty family here at Daytona, 1981. To the white flag, Ryan Newman to the outside of Keselowski. Newman leads at that line. Who leads at the next one? But you got to get back to the front because a caution can happen and you can be out of luck. Keselowski really doesn't have the help that he's going to need to win this race. And he must win it. But he's in good shape now because Newman has no push. Here comes Landon Castle behind Matt Kenseth, behind Brad Keselowski. But watch Kenseth, he can still make a move. Landon Castle to the outside, trioval, sprint to the checkered flag. Who wins? Brad Keselowski wins it at Talladega. Victory Lane. When you absolutely positively have to win a race and you get it done, that has to feel unbelievably good. I tell you, I've said it a number of times, you back these drivers into corners, it's amazing to see the extraordinary things that they can do. And Brad Keselowski was not going to be denied today. And yeah, this might be one of his biggest wins ever. White flag, flag right this here. is it. 20 is laying up a little bit there. White flag. There goes the 20. He laid back. Here comes Suarez. He pulled to the outside. He got a little bit of momentum. Pulled to the outside of Ray Black Jr. Nobody went with him. That's surprising. Yeah, that was a great move. I, I love what he did. He gave it a shot. No this help. Pay off, but he got zero help. Crafted side by side for eight. Two Fords up front. Austin Terrio trying to be the first Daytona winner in his first start since Robert Presley in 2002. Will Jones push Legacy? Can they make a run here off turn four? They've gapped it back a little bit. Jones pull up on Legacy and make a run or no? Terrio laid off a little bit here, trying to get a little momentum as they exit four. Three wide in the back. The battle is for the win. Here they fan out and out in front of everyone is the number 19, Tyler right, Reddick. Right you win, buddy. Keep going. There are five wide here, man. We need to get away from you. Won. Job. A four-wide finish, <laughs> unofficially, Eric Jones second, Austin Terrio third, Scott Legacy fourth.
than Black and Gilliland. We may have to review that. Ray Black Jr. went down below the double yellow line. Not sure he improved his position. Well, NASCAR will take a look at that. He was running fifth and he finished fifth, so yes. I don't think he did, but he was definitely out of bounds. But what a great move by Eric Jones. He got to the outside. He had a shot at winning. Look at that. Stocked up four, four wide, wide across the check for the checkered. The next flag ends it. If there's a caution now, the race is over. Amaro is pushing hard on Larson. Larson sideways into the wall. There he goes. That's that same wall. Will they let him race back? No caution yet. Sparks for Eric Almarola. He's got a flat tire, I'm afraid. Brad is way out there. If any, if any of these guys get a good run, Brad is in, in trouble here. The track is clear, and they're going to race back to the checkered flag. We talked about the. And here comes Ryan Reed to the inside. Team Penske, Jack Roush, they've never won here in the Xfinity Series. One, two, three. They're all four to the front. It might be too soon. Reed trying to block his teammate, Chris Buescher. Here's the checkered flag. Ryan Reed wins it at Daytona. That is unbelievable. And that is what super speedway racing is all about. At its finest. What a battle to the checkered. And that young man was up there all day and did a great job. Another win for Bakersfield, California there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow hometown boy. How about that? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The last time a Ford won here, July 2004. On that Friday night, it was Mike Wallace. Today, it's all about Ryan Reed and the Roush Fenway organization. Full post-race coverage on the way from Daytona International Speedway. First, we send it off to Los Angeles. What a day at the World Center of Racing. Fox Sports Live starts right now on Fox Sports. Big cluster coming off turn number four. Smoke, oh, man. trouble, way in the back, but here come the leaders. The question is, are they going to throw the yellow or are they going to let them race back? Seven, eight car pile up in the back straight away. Caution is out. Is out. Get, throw Caution, Logano. Keep coming. Just stay on the gas. Back straight away. Stay on the gas. Coming to easy here. They say, they say roll out of the throttle. It's over, boys. Coming it's over. Middletown, Connecticut's Joey Logano wins the Daytona 500. Daytona 500, guys! <laughs> And flag. there's the start-finish line. One lap oh to go. Gosh. And this the last six races here, we've had a last lap pass for the win. What a race. Well, they were basically tied, Adam, so let's call it another one. Now you can see how aggressive they're getting with the pushing right now. I mean, those cars are basically all tandem pushing, and they, they know they've got nothing to lose. It's the final lap. we got to go for it right now. Three Fords and a Chevrolet up front. Outside in the 60 is Chris Busher looking for his second career win and his first on a restrictor plate track. Down low, Logano looking for his second victory at Talladega. I told you Busher is aggressive, and you can see he squeezed Elliott Sadler down there. He might, might oh yeah, he's going to. Logano strong all weekend long through the trial. They're three wide. Logano going to get away. Checkered flag is out. Joey Logano wins it at Talladega. What a race. Excellent move by Joe Logano to move up and, and block that outside lane. I thought Busher really had a shot at getting to either the inside or outside of him. It looked like he had to check up just a little bit too much to be able to make that. Here we go. Two laps to determine who will win the race and who will advance into round three in the chase. Coming back into the NBC Sports restart zone. 220 feet. Green flag back in the air. The four not going. They wreck behind him. The green flag is out as they cross the start finish line. Will they throw the caution? Trying to get back up to speed. Caution comes out. Now the question is who was stay, in, stay front? in front? Of them. Stay in front of them. Stay in front of them. So right here we see they're under green flag. NASCAR's looking at the track, trying to determine if these cars can drive off. Very important to see who the leader is when the light comes on. 
caution comes out and that's how close it is to determine who wins this race from NASCAR they are telling us that the 22 was in front and so Joey Logano will sweep round two unofficially Joey Logano the winner at Talladega three consecutive wins in the second round of the chase mixed emotions out of the crowd I just don't think anybody's going to be able to get enough momentum to get a big big enough push to get by this too this is the best thing going to happen to him as they get side by side behind him just remember where the start finish line is that's right it's not in the middle of the trioval because coming from the 18 oh the kyle three stepped bush out. dylan kyle bush and dylan saw trouble car hard in the wall two of them keselowski to the line caution had waved with keselowski the leader and crashing are harvick almondinger stenhouse Truex, Labonte, and everybody else. Good job today, Brad. That was you, man. Managing that. I, I, I don't know how to explain this. I just, I've never seen anything like this at, ever. A wild finish at the world's fastest junkyard. Brad Keselowski, Roger Penske, and Ford win it. Giving a shove to Eric Emerald and into the wall goes David. David Reagan slamming into the wall. Darrell Wallace Jr. quick across the inside wall. The caution has not come out. The race is still on. Justin Allgaier on the high side. Eric Emerald on the bottom of the racetrack. Coming out of turn four. And the caution will come out. Now we'll have to go back to video to find out who was in the lead when the caution light came out. See the light's green, it's still green. We're slowing it down. Light's still green. Light is still green as we look forward to the next one. Now it's off in yellow. And right there, how do you determine from this view? That is so close between Allgaier and Almirola. So by that view, I think it's pretty clear that 98 is in front. I mean, that's a much better view. Yes! Awesome job, Fred Biazzi. Way to call fuel only, buddy. Eric awesome Almirola, the 98. Awesome Almirola wins at Daytona again. One more time around. Brad Keselowski out front. Kurt Busch running second. A big run by Kyle Busch on the outside. Here comes Kyle. Kyle in the 18. He has help from Trevor Bain in the six behind him. 18-6 up top, soft behind the 41. Two by two behind Brad Keselowski. The final time down the back stretch. Joey Logano trying to make the inside line work. Through three and four for the final time. Out of turn four. They'll see the finish line. Brad Keselowski out front. Around goes Kurt Busch. Keselowski's going to hang on. Keselowski wins at Daytona. Uh, thank you, guys. Great team effort today. Very proud. Thank you. Penske getting their 100th cup win in this, the 50th anniversary. And the team starts to celebrate. All right, Daytona. But the Stars and Stripes will celebrate with Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski celebrating here at Daytona. This moment presented by Sunoco. Fueling victories all season long. Turn three for the final time. Up 
the racetrack. The 22 goes, blocking the 44. Coming out of turn four. A long ways back to the checkered flag. Three and four wide, fighting for position. Joey Logano through the tri-oval. Logano wins at Talladega. This chase scenario has brought out the best in a race team. Joey Logano came in here tied with Austin Dillon. Who was going to find a way to get the win? Who was going to do what they needed to do to move forward? Joey Logano and his team, almost in a must-win situation, finds a way to win the race. Keselowski looking upside, downside. The white flag waves. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit now, One Bank. Now, can Logano get to the two car, give him a big enough push to get by Denny Absolutely. Hamlin? I think Absolutely. I have a big yeah, run here. Here it comes. There's a possibility here right it comes. here. Can he do anything Better cut with him it? off. Oh, no. No. We got a crash. We've got cars out of control oh, here. No. Logano the gather back up. Oh, no. The 11 cars out of control off of two. So no, got out. No, no, hit again. no contact. And here they come to the line. Wow. Man. Denny Hamlin keeps going. No caution. Still it's racing to the finish here. Logano, who's it's that, Bowman who, with Kyle Busch for second. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a drag race come between these two for four. second. Logano's Ford is going to win it, and Bowman, the showman, against Rowdy Bush for second. They bang, they touch. Bush second, Bowman third. Dana <laughs> Kapatrick. She almost took the three wide at the line. Hey, where did she come from? <laughs> Joe Logano wins his first clash. Oh, pretty cool, right? Casey Kane's got to run, Kevin. Kane down to the inside. Reed tries to block him. Two and a half miles to a victory at the World Center of Racing. And now we see the 22. He's on the 88's bumper, so they should have some momentum. It's just a matter of where it times out. Reed up the track to block Kane. Crossover from the 88, but he cannot pull off the pass. Oh, what down a, the back straightaway. What a great block by Reed. That was awesome driving there. Just barely squeezing in front of Kane. Watch Austin Dillon in that high lane. Look at the 52 of Joey Gase right in the mix, looking for his second career. Top five, the other came at Talladega. Off a of turn four, Kane looks inside. Reed protecting that double yellow line. Three wide as they come through the trioval behind him. Reed looking for the checkers. He's going to get it. Second career victory at Daytona. And they're crashing as they come across the start finish line. It's over. Oh my God! That is a. Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh, you guys. Oh my God, we're going to celebrate. I'm going to burn this down to the ground. The white flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Yeah, when I think of experience and knowledge here at Daytona, I think of Kurt Busch. He's been so close so many times. He pushed his teammate to victory here one time. Is anybody going to push him today? Look at the 21 coming on the inside Whoa! to give him a big push. Where'd he come from? Ryan Blaney wow, what from the run. back with Logano. Oh, Blaney 42 is out of gas. 42 is out of gas. Who else is going to run out? 21 is. I, I'm not so sure. Well, I think he's okay. He's still going. Now, if the 47 can get up behind the 21, give him a push, he might get there. But I don't know. I think this might be Kurt Busch's day. Looks like he's going to come home a winner. Kurt Busch has been the bridesmaid in the Daytona 500. Here they come off turn four for the final time. From Las Vegas, the 2004 champion of the series, Kurt Busch for Gene Haas and Tony Stewart wins the Daytona 500. <laughs> Wow. Wow. First time he's won the 500. What about that? Here they are to the white flag. One lap to go at Talladega, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Eric Alvarola leading, but seven of the last eight races here have had a last lap pass for the victory. Elliott Sadler shoving Logano up the track. 
Almirola watching it all in his rear view mirror. He crosses over in front of Logano. Two of those last lap passes, Adam, have been made by Elliott Sadler. Oh, they're Trouble. crashing. There goes Darrell Wallace Jr. Hits the wall hard. If the caution comes out, we'd freeze the field, but no caution yet. We'll see if they let him race back. Ryan Sieg sliding through the grass. Almirola out front. That's Sadler behind him in the one. Eric Jones getting aggressive inside of Allgaier. Here comes Sadler. Can he get there? Logano outside. Here's the checkers at the line. Eric Almirola wins it at Talladega. I told you guys this thing was fast. Green flag waves if the leader makes it to the overtime line. Before there's a caution, this will be the last restart of the race. I'm telling you, it's like the 18 of Kyle Busch has a different second gear than everybody else, so he's restarting the first gear. Jimmy Johnson in the 48 gave Ricky Stenhouse a nice push. Now he gets one from the one of McMurray, and here comes Johnson. Here they come. Oh, five outside him. Here comes Casey Kane. Ah! Well, Stenhouse did a great job to block that run that was coming. Boy, he is and yeah, he's going to get to the inside right here. Great move by Ricky Stenhouse. Will he clear? Clear up. Clear, clear, up, clear will. up. Come on, get Not up. That. Not yet. Oh, we're past man. the overtime line. We have a race. Oh, we Next have a drag, race. is it? I tell you, I thought Stenhouse could have made a move up right there, but you can see he's pretty well. He's got some speed for the, he and the 7, 18 are pretty equal. Fastest car here carries Bush up the race. White flag trying to end a 101 race winless streak for car owner Jack Roush is Ricky Stenhouse. Look at this, four wide. Oh Everybody wants to get to the front. I just don't see how that's going to work out. Side drafter for McMurray on Casey Kane. He's going to get to the rear bumper. Argo in the middle between Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Bush. Now what Stenhouse do? Can he block? Can he block? All of them coming at once. Five wide. Work it, dude. Work it. Last lap. Bang. That was that Bush into McMurray. Stenhouse gets away a little bit. Three wide. Here they come off turn four. This is the finish these fans came and stayed for. Ricky Stenhouse, the pride of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Top to bottom, Kyle Busch to the outside, gets blocked by Stenhouse, here they come! Stenhouse yes. wins it! <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> what a run! What a thrilling yeah, It's always fun to see oh, somebody good. get their first win. They're gonna get to it, they do. Now the fight back to the finish. They've got a lap and a half to go. 17 hard, here he comes. Here comes inside. the 17. In. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., a power move on the inside. He takes the lead. David Reagan saw that line coming from the top, thought he needed to block that. Stenhouse had such a run on the bottom, he didn't get the right car blocked. Stenhouse Jr., white flag in the air. One more time around. Michael McDowell in the 95 running second. A slide by the 24 of Chase Elliott. That's before they get into turn one. The caution hasn't come out yet. They want him to be able to race back to the checkered flag. Paul Menard now moves up to second. Clint Boyer's in third. Clint Boyer trying to find a line, trying to get some momentum. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Wants to stay right on the double yellow line. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. looking for his second win in the Cup Series. He's going to get it at the biggest stage. Stenhouse Jr. wins at Daytona.
lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Logano ducking in front of the 88. Now way up the racetrack they go. Diving to the bottom. Dale Earnhardt Jr. One last time down the Talladega Super Stretch. Newman has a car length in front of Keslowski. As they come into three and four for the final time, Keslowski on the high side, trying to take the lead away. Side by side as they exit four. The tricky triangle they're about to come through. Contact made. Keslowski still in front.